that's right at the end of the summer. That, that's yeah. probably at the high end, but, but we can see that it's higher. So let's get a question about the, the turbine. New controllers, right, TSOs, a week. That's How right. many do you lose a week? Uh, I'm talking part time. But if that's a, your part time, but if I turn over is different from your full time. Full -time. Get with uh, your staff, sir. Yeah. And earlier this week, uh, we had a breakdown here in Chicago, and uh, that was unacceptable. The long lines uh, and the wait times caused quite a few people to miss their flights. Uh, as I said earlier this week at a previous talk, I, I, I am very sorry to those people that did that, and, and we are working hard to make sure that doesn't happen again. I sent in a team that identified immediate staffing and operations adjustments. I've accelerated planned increases to frontline staff and canine teams. I've added thousands of overtime hours to ensure maximum flexibility to local leadership to meet demand. And we're working closely with the airports, airlines, and the Department of Aviation to anticipate and manage passenger volume. Additional teams at Midway and their uh, uh, administrators going to confirm. The $34 million reprogramming I just got gives me, gives me a good down payment on where I need to be, but I think I need to still need to grow to, to a, a, a larger staff level. The message that I brought from this is Congress needs to be part of the solution. For the congressional spokesman to be criticizing what's going on here without accepting our responsibility is wrong. And it's our responsibility, as these charts behind me show, to make certain that we have the screening capacity to keep up with passenger flow in the United States of America. Every other week, we're going to put out an, a, a, a met, metrics on how this is working at both O'Hare and at Midway. So we can measure the progress we're making or the lack thereof and make sure that we're accountable so we don't just try to fix this on a temporary basis, but get this permanently right. We still don't know what happened there. Uh, we're following the investigation closely. Our hearts go out to the families and friends of the people who were lost, uh, but most importantly, it's a stark reminder that what we do is really important and we need to do it well and we need to do it efficiently. Thank you. With respect to staff, I think, I, I think we need to increase the staff size of TSA to meet all the demands uh, of the growing po travel population as well as the potential changes that we might see as we learn more and more about what might have, might, might have happened to the Egypt Air as well as what, what uh, we already know has happened to other aircraft.